One more last warm afternoon, but it will be the winds that will be most notable this afternoon. I'm meteorologist Cindy O'Quinn in the UF Weather Center as we check out your forecast. It is going to be breezy. We're expecting those winds around 2 to 4 o'clock to be sustained near 20 miles per hour out of the southwest and then even some gusts up to around 30. Notice those temperatures around 85 degrees and as we get towards the evening time, our winds will start to slacken as our temperatures then also start cooling off. About a 20% chance of spotty shower this afternoon and a little bit higher than as the cold front actually moves through. Our three big things for today, breezy, those wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour. But the cold front it does bring an end to the 80s. So this is the last day of 80s for quite a while. And this weekend, definitely on the cooler side, highs only near 70 and at night. We're talking about temperatures into the lower 40s. Here it is, your upper level winds. You can see some strong system back out across the western U.S. But it's the eastern U.S. that's starting to bring a pattern change even for the state of Florida. That high pressure now pushing southward towards Cuba. But we are looking at that strong winds across the region. And that's why even we're seeing some of those stronger winds down here across Florida. But there is a significant pattern change. Notice on Friday how we're still somewhat in a zonal flow. But watch what happens then as we go into the weekend. We start to see those bluer color lines coming through the state of Florida, and that's really going to start to cool things off. And why we'll see temperatures at night close to 40 degrees on Saturday and Sunday morning. And notice that pattern is still staying around as we go into Sunday and early next week. Eventually, we will start to see it just moderate a little bit, but it is changing here for us. There's a cold front to the north of us. Notice ahead of it, we have those warm winds. Those are the arrows out of the south with a red color. But once this front passes, we'll see a chance of some scattered showers in as it actually goes through later on tonight. Maybe a spotty, spotty shower ahead of it. But then once this all clears on through, notice how we have those bluer arrows that are bringing that northerly air. And it's going to be a cooler day into the upper 70s on Friday. And then even cooler than that as we're heading into Saturday and Sunday. As you can see, clear skies and definitely that cool dry air mass sort of settling on in for the weekend. Temperature wise, uh, well, we're still going to be mild ahead of the front. Now, as you're looking into tonight, though, we'll start to see those temperatures dropping just a little bit. We'll see Friday morning uh, temperatures right around 62 degrees. But then as we go into the afternoon, those highs only topping out around 77. And as you're checking out then your extended forecast, notice the temperatures and some spots staying in the upper 60s, Live Oak, Lake City and Palatka on Saturday afternoon. So it is going to be a little bit cooler. And as you check out your extended forecast, here it is. Near normal temperatures on Saturday. Normal is actually 72 this time of year and at nighttime 48. So we're going to be a little bit below that on Sunday morning and Monday morning.